Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today we are going to be doing a zombies challenge and this is called the spider room grief mode. Now, this is something you don't have to do on round 80, but you do need to do it on a round that um, you have great guns and you're able to, you know, have ammo, have the skull and on Subway, maybe even have monkeys. Perks, you need the whole 10 yards, but, or maybe it's 9 yards, but what this is, is basically you and your other teammates, the more the merrier, are going to try to grief each other in this very small room. Now, the zombies only come from two places, which is a really good thing. Two different hallways, one the long hallway, two the little slide ramp, so that can help you out whenever you're trying to uh, line up your shots, but... What's happening in this gameplay and something that should differ from your gameplay is that we were trying to waste ammo because we wanted to do a just a grief with no ammo, just strictly running zombies into each other and seeing if we could get out of it. That really does let you get better at Call of Duty Zombies because it teaches you how to have fun and be able to move the zombies plus be able to move away from the zombies. So I would recommend doing this challenge if you're trying to get better now. You probably will get in here, and I'm not calling you bad or anything, but let me just get this out. You'll probably get in here, and, a, you know, a minute in, you'll die, and you'll be like, Oh man, this is such a dumb challenge, but trust me, keep coming back, even if you don't have all these guns. Just do something in zombies that makes you die out very quickly. That's just... Sounds like a bad idea, and keep doing it until you don't die out quickly. And what you're going to learn is that you're not going to die out quickly on the hard things, and whenever you come to the easier things, you're going to last that much longer. I'm just here trying to get you guys better at zombies, so whenever I go public surfing, that, you know, I get into a game, and the guy doesn't go down in the first room ten times. You know what I mean. We've all seen it before. We, we hate it. Everyone hates that, but... That's what this video is about, round 80. This was us just wanting the game to be over. Trust me, this is not our strategy to round 80. I think I had that video up a few days ago. We just got to that point where we're like, okay, the game's over. We could either, either just like hold a grenade, we could let a zombie kill us, or we could have fun for a little bit. So we came in here and had fun. Then we decided just to start wasting all of our ammo, and it, it turned out pretty good. I think I was the one who got the first down maybe i don't know there's some clutch moves in this i'm pretty sure but look at the floor look at this room it looks amazing i do like this if you're looking for the most amazing sight in zombies this is it right here go back in theater mode and get you some really nice visuals get you some pictures of the characters and do all you can do so let me know down below what challenges you would like to see me do and if you're going to make up a challenge, let me know in exact detail what the challenge is. And if it's a weird challenge that most people have never heard before, let me know how to do it down below. Because I'm thinking about doing another live streaming series where I do some of your guys' challenges. Uh, the last one that we did was really, really good. And I had fun with that. That was on Dryson Track. But now, let's do one for Zetsubo no Shima. And the best part about this is that I'll be able to do it for the first part of the stream on Xbox. And the last part of the stream on PlayStation. So everyone gets to play. I know you guys like that. So I'm going to let you guys finish out this gameplay. Or maybe I'll just keep talking a little bit. I just kind of ran out of things to talk to. I didn't realize how long this gameplay was. Um, maybe I'll let it end. Who knows? Let's see, what else What else could I talk about? Oh yeah, we have been gaining so many subscribers here lately. I don't know if you guys have checked or even knew where we were at last week, but let me give you a hint. It was in the 6,000s. We have grown so, 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 so much since then. And I mean, I hope we keep growing like this. I hope I can hit 10k very, very soon. And uh, from there, I just hope I keep going on up because it's really, really cool that I'm getting to meet a lot of new people and um, that they're sticking around. You know, they're watching some of my other videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I mean, I really do enjoy making YouTube videos. Tyler trapped me. Oh, no. And then here he comes in with his monkeys and he's going to try to pick me up. And I think this is where the clutching begins. This is where I'm like, oh, no. No way can I get another down and another down. So I'm like dying. Dodging, dodging zombies back and forth, letting them know what's up. Look at this right here. Oh, how did I get out of it? 
oh man, this is such a great thing to learn with and just to be a little bit better at zombies. So, like I said before, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We are coming to the ending. I'm going to go down right here because of just all the zombies and he instantly goes down to peace.